Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today, doing my number one welterweight in the world for my 2021 year-end top tens as they continue. And we're halfway done after this video as I finalize the 147 pound welterweight division and discuss my number one welterweight in the world right now, the undefeated Terrence Bud Crawford, the WBO champion. Crawford entered the year at number two. You know, he had dropped out of the top spot. And um, we didn't know if he was going to get a big fight or not, but the WBO mandated him to fight his number one contender, which was former two-time champ Sean Porter. Sean Porter wanted the fight bad enough, so a deal was worked out between the two sides. And in November, we would see Crawford versus Porter in what was supposed to be Crawford's toughest test to date and definitely the, the best opponent he was getting in the ring with. And we saw that. It, it was a tough fight. Very good, close battle between those two. Um, back and forth. Uh, Porter was putting the pressure on, landing shots, but um, Crawford was countering and setting up his big shots. And heading into the 10th round, uh, he, uh, he was winning by one point on two of the three scorecards. So it was a very close fight. But in the end, um, a punch that he had been setting up the entire day, his left uppercut kept landing at will. And finally, the uppercut landed in the tent and put um, and put Crawford down, or put uh, Porter down, which was uh, surprising. But it put him down, and then he um, he would land another. Uh, his next barrage would put Porter down again. Porter started slamming his fist into the mat in anger. As he got up, his father and trainer threw in the towel in the corner, and Sean Porter would be TKO'd for the first time in his career, and after the fight, um, would retire from the sport of boxing. So, you know, Terrence Crawford, this is a monster win for him right here to beat a guy like Porter, to stop him, big time win. And I don't wanna hear that Porter was old because Crawford is the same fucking age, and Porter, obviously, was still very good so um you know it was a big win for terrence crawford right there as he pushes forward into 2022 as a free agent he said after the fight that uh he was done with bob arum because bob arum couldn't get him the spence fight and he was moving in a different direction we also heard that eddie hearn wasn't interested in signing uh, crawford so right now it appears that crawford is a promotional free agent which means he could pretty much fight wherever he wants so he said he's interested in the winner of Thurman and Barrios that's taking place in February. We know Spence and Ugas are fighting in April. So what does Crawford want to do? Uh, you know, I hope he's not waiting around forever. I hope he, he gets two fights in this year. It would be awesome. But if one fight means he ends up fighting for the undisputed title against Errol Spence, then I'm okay with that because I really want to see that fight. But Crawford's not getting any younger and he needs to gobble up the fights that he can get. And I really believe going after somebody like Virgil Ortiz, somebody on that level, I think he would do just fine against Virgil Ortiz right now. I think he'd beat Virgil Ortiz. So I really think he needs those names on his resume if he if he wants to keep moving forward. Virgil Ortiz is his number one contender in the WBO right now. So why not make, you know, go after that fight in the first half of the year and then you could either fight Thurman or Barrios or the winner of Spence and Ugas for the undisputed title. But that's the one I really want to see is Spence and Ugas for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. That's the one I want to see the most. I think most people do. And I'm really hoping and praying that that's the fight that we all get in 2022 because it's been long overdue. Crawford's 34 and, um, and uh, Spence is 31. And I really don't want to see a another Pacquiao and um, another Pacquiao and uh, and uh, Spence. I mean, another Pacquiao and Mayweather uh, debacle that you know that took years to make. You know, there's really no reason for it, especially with Spence at um, Spence fighting at. Um, I mean, with uh, Porter now a promotional free agent. So hopefully. We get what we want, and we get to see an undisputed title fight here in the 147-pound welterweight division between the top two welterweights in the world. 
I'm really, really hoping for that. It should be good, should be interesting. Make sure you're paying attention. And that's my 2021 year-end top tens, my number one welterweight in the world right now, the undefeated WBO champion, Terrence Bud Crawford. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. True boxing, you've been hit with the truth.